here at Savage Arena as the Tittle Rockets will play host against the Bowling Green State Falcons as Mid-American Conference play continues. Now, although it may be cold outside, it is a heated atmosphere in this building as these two rivals clash for the first time this season. The Rockets came in looking to extend their winning streak against the Falcons through six games. UT got off to a quick 7-0 start as senior guard John John Williams drives to the basket and lays it in early in the first. Later in the half, Nate Navigato finds Jalen Sanford who buries one from beyond the arc to extend the Rockets' lead. Senior forward Steve Taylor continued his work in the paint as he muscles in the layup and draws the foul, adding on to UT's momentum. However, BG would not go quietly as they rallied back to tie the game up at 30 points with just over five minutes left in the half thanks to the efforts of Zach Denny and Wes Alciguer. But UT would step up the defensive intensity in the closing minutes of the half and went on a 13-2 run capped off by Navigato's fourth three-pointer of the half to send the Rockets into the locker room with a 43-32 lead at the break. The Rockets kept up the intensity in the second half as they attacked the basket and exposed the Falcons' interior defense. Freshman forward Luke Kanapke had a nice game for UT off the bench as he contributed 12 points and 7 rebounds in 17 minutes. But it was Navagato who was the man for the Rockets as he tallied a career-high 22 points, shooting 6 of 8 from downtown, including 7 assists, also a career-high. UT would win this one handily over their rival by a score of 85-73. to After the game, both Nate Navagato and Rockets head coach Todd Kowalczyk agreed their offensive flow was the key. My teammates find me for open shots. I mean, that just gives me the confidence, and I know they have confidence in me to hit shots, and, you know, they're able to go down early, and that really helped us. What's important is, is our spacing on the floor. Uh, he, it opens everything up. Now we can get penetration. That's why, you, you know, 23 assists on 29 field goals, fellas. That's, that's, a, that's a heck of a day. The Rockets will go on the road to face Kent State this Saturday. I'm Cody Smith reporting for UT10 News.